online research is a little bit one-dimensional. You know what it's like when you're filling out a form. There's, you want to get to the end of it. Multiple choice questions. It's kind of low level. It's not deep. It doesn't probe um, to a level where you can really get sort of new insight. And so what we did was during this time we were talking to people in other countries in and and we were doing one to one um, video conference or Zoom interviews and we were recording those interviews and we were asking questions around what are the problems that they're having you know and whether it was if it was Sainsbury's and Tesco's in and we were talking to Sainsbury's and Tesco's in 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 the UK. Yeah and co-op in, in the Netherlands, we were getting these senior executives telling us about what problems they were having with the wine industry, what issues they felt weren't being solved. They also talked about where Accolade was falling short. Um, and then we got them to sort of, we, we said to them, you know, it's not a witch hunt, but how could they improve? And they told us a bit about how maybe Diageo or Treasury Wine Estates might be doing a better job. Mm. And then what happened was, was that we asked them about the future and where they saw the wine industry going. Was it an industry in decline, in their opinion, sure. and how they went? And so we got some wonderful answers and we kept probing. And, and what was great about that was that the information that we got was a one-to-one. -one. It wasn't a group environment where, you know, if you're going to do all the talking, I'll just sit back and, and, and I won't, won't give as much information. We were able to get really deep insight and we were able to create uh, reports on those insights and then Accolade's team could go to the, and visit the, these clients and say, hey, during the research, you, were, you had said these things. Now let's work, let's work on these problems together. Let's collaborate. Let's find ways of doing these new things. And in fact, it also stirred up their team internally to come up with new ideas, new ways of presenting wine. Um, whether that be in a supermarket or a, or a shopping centre aisle or whether that be in a, uh, a venue of sorts on premise. And so they were able to go back to the client and say, hey, we listened. And that's one of the powerful things about doing this type of research is, is that the client feels great because they're saying, this brand thinks that I'm important enough to listen to me and to listen to what I've got to say.